Thank you. Okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, it, it, it's funny because the Lord showed me years ago, says, uh, uh, in ministry, uh, uh, as an evangelist, I've learned, but I first, I did pastor years ago, praise God, which is, I think is important if, to, if you're going to be an evangelist because your job is to build the church. Amen? Amen? If I'm an evangelist, I want to build the church, but then the pastors have to come in and the church has to embrace people and make disciples. Amen? Amen. And so today, we, we have as a theme, discipleship. Can everybody say discipleship? Discipleship. discipleship. Hallelujah. Everybody say it again, discipleship. 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 Amen. Now you think about how many times in your Bible, Jesus said, you cannot be my disciple. Unless this. Yeah. Well, you cannot be my disciple unless that. So, for instance, he said, unless, hallelujah, you forsake father, mother, sister, and brother. Unless you hate your own life, he said. You cannot be my disciple. Amen. Unless you fall in the ground and die. Amen. 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 He said, except the greater wheat, fall in the ground and die. He remains alone. Amen. 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 When one man came and said, hey, I want to follow you, but let me go home first. I got some stuff to do. I got to <laughs> bury my... He said, wait a minute. You got this wrong. Uh-huh. Let the dead bury their dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I speak in tongues, I will interpret as Amen. I'm preaching. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Nobody, I want nobody to say, oh, you speak in tongues, you don't interpret. I do interpret. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Now, if he said that the man, if, if you want to be my disciple, you don't think about the dead. You let the dead bury their dead. Yeah. Amen. We got work to do. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. So discipleship comes with responsibility. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, being a disciple is, is quite different from just being saved. Uh, Amen. Amen. Because when you're saved, the Bible says it's, it's like being born. In John 3.16, you know what he told Nicodemus? What did he tell him? Must be born again. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody help. There's some Bible knowers out there. I know it. John 3, 16, for God. God who gave his only forgotten son. Anyone believes in him shall not be. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There we go. See, they, you got them, Pastor. They learned. They got it. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world. Amen. Hallelujah. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And God sent not his son in the world to condemn the world but that the world through it might be saved. So salvation is, he told Nicodemus, he said, it's like man being born. Yeah. And Nicodemus said, well, can you be born? Or can I go back into the womb? No. You got to be born of the spirit. You have to be born of water. So when you're birth, that's an event. Amen? Amen. Amen. To be born is an event. But discipleship is a lifestyle. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Discipleship is a calling. It's the way, it's about the way I live my life every day for the rest of my life. Yeah. Amen. 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 In fact, he, he said, if, if, if you look back, you're not even worthy to be my disciple. Amen. 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 He said, like a dog returning to his vomit. Uh -huh. That's how I look at that. Ain't no turning back. That's it. For the Lord says, I gave it all. Amen. To you. Amen. I gave it all to you. Yeah. I gave it all. And though I wanted to say, let this cup pass, I did not. Mm -hmm. I did not. 
Praise God. Amen. Spirit of the Lord. Say there's a commitment in discipleship. It's not always easy. Amen. Right. It's, it's about following. Now what if I'm born again and I don't want to be a disciple? That might be the case, right? Amen. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a dangerous place today. Amen. Praise God. I hear people preaching that uh, 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 it's grace. And, uh, and we have something I, I, I call as a young Christian. I used to minister on the streets back as a teenager. We called it greasy grace. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got greasy grace. Amen. You know how the food is just too greasy? That's nasty. <laughs> Amen. I mean... You need some juice and some natural juice. All that's good. But now when it starts getting so greasy that it's just nasty. Right. Amen. Now that can make you sick. Amen. 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 And Jesus said, like, I want you to be hot or cold, right? Amen. Hot or cold. Right. He said, if you're lukewarm, I'm spitting you out of my mouth. Yes. Come on, y'all. Amen. 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 So discipleship, they don't, there's no place for lukewarm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. There's no place for lukewarm in discipleship. Amen. Anybody agree with that? Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Let's look at a few scriptures real quick. And I'm tag teaming with my brother, Evangelist Williams. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to keep moving. I'm moving fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Matthew 10, 24, he said, The disciple is not above his master, All right. nor the servant above his Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Matthew 10, 25, going on, he said, It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Uh -huh. So he's saying, you have to be as the master. Uh -huh. And the master had to stand up for the Father and for the Word and the Gospel and the mission he had. Amen. Even if it hurt. Amen? Amen. Amen? So he says, now, you're as your master. Amen? Amen? Amen. You have to be willing Hallelujah. To take, you got to endure hardness, as Paul said. Yeah. You got when you think about discipleship now, you're thinking about being hard, being strong in the Lord yeah. and in the power of his might. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Anybody strong in the Lord tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Let the weak say, I am strong. So if you feel weak, I still want you to say, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I don't care what it looks like. I'm strong, Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. And you keep speaking that, and the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Amen. You walk in faith, and you speak in faith, not by sight. 